Okay, this video, listen, it is so random, but like, again, this is a channel where I can post whatever I want and chit chat with you because I need to chit chat. I need to, you know, get this out there. And I just had an epiphany today in my car. I was talking to myself and I was like, no, I need a camera here. I need a camera here. And I'm like dissecting every day. I undo the American propaganda that was instilled into me from when I was a young child. You don't realize how crazy American propaganda is until you start consuming things outside of America. And I'm dead serious on this because I feel like if I was not so into like other media from other cultures and like, yeah, like, yes, like one of them is K-pop, but just in general, just seeing, I feel like number one, seeing media from other cultures, number two, meeting people from other cultures, like in college, meeting international students and just like watching like international like videos on YouTube of people who live internationally. It is insane the American propaganda that you are taught as a young child. And I don't know if you're still taught this, but like as a as a Gen Zer, okay, bro, it's insane. Okay, because I was raised being taught from many outlets in my life that like you are so blessed to be in America. Thank God you live in America. You are so lucky. Which, yes, I am lucky to be in America, but anytime I'd be told that, it would be like, imagine if you were in another country, the lack of opportunity you would have, you would be starving. Like, it would, it would go to the extreme. Like, you would be starving. You would, you, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know if that's what I was explicitly told, but like, as I was a kid, I would just like imagine, like, I genuinely would feel sympathy and get really sad for people not born in America. Let's, let's hear that again. I would like get near crying thinking about people not born in America because for some reason I just thought and every other country and this is when I was really young I just thought every other country was a third world country like that's what like it seemed like to me like it was like no other country in the world has the freedoms like we do and I'm like now that I'm thinking I'm like Okay, like, yes, we have a lot of freedom, but, like, we also have a lot of issues in America. Like, a lot of issues. And a lot of countries don't have these issues. And a lot of countries have their own issues, but, like... I would rather live in some other countries. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, when I was a child, the thought of living internationally, no, no, because I thought everyone was poor. I thought everyone who wasn't American was poor, trying to get a green card. Who, who told you that, sweetie? Because I'm like thinking, I'm like, well, number one, I, I knew like, I'm just thinking of what I thought. Like as, as a youngin, I'm not talking high school, like high school, obviously I knew all this was like kind of BS, but like I would just think of Europe and I would be like, ugh. English isn't their main language. I can't, I can't believe English isn't their main language. But it's like, actually, most countries in Europe know English along with five other languages. And if they don't know English, they probably know three other languages. Okay, and also like the European education system far beats the American education system. Fact, like literally it does. Okay, so I'm like, why are you getting so pressed about people being born in Germany? Like they're fine, trust, they're fine. Like they don't need to live in America, like they're, they're good. Like I don't know why, I would just think about it. Like imagine being born in Sweden. It's like, girl, they're fine. They don't need to, like, I just thought everyone was, like, wanting to be in America. Like, it did. It never occurred to me as a child that, like, someone would be born in, like, Sweden and, like, like it. Because I was just told, literally, like, You're so blessed. Have any, you know, you are the luckiest 1% in the entire universe. You could have been born anywhere and you're born here. Like, yes, I'm lucky I'm born in America, but also, like, What's wrong with like, I, what's wrong with England? What's wrong with Ireland? Like, what's wrong with being born in Italy? Because like, that seems kind of cool. You know, again, lucky to be born in America, in America, but like, they're doing just fine. They're doing fine. But like, also it's like, 
Did we forget about Canada? Like Canada is very similar to America. Like I don't know. But another thing that really sticks out to me is like just thinking about Asia. Like I remember like being young and then you know like those things that would go like viral being like Japanese footage from the 70s and it'd be like all modern footage. And I remember being young and, be and being like, oh my God, how is their technology that advanced? Like that is insane. Like how is their technology so advanced? Like their technology is so advanced because they invested money into it and they also have intelligent people from Japan. Like, I, I don't know why, again, I thought America was always ahead on things. Again, I, I don't know why. Again, like, I would just think, I'm like, imagine being born in China. Like, I'm sure they're fine. I'm sure they're just fine. I've seen the cities in China. I'm sure China has its problems too, but so does America. I've seen some Chinese cities and I'm like, dang, that actually, that looks really cool. Like I actually, like China is actually one of my top five countries I wanna visit. I'm like, now why, now why were y'all telling me all that? Why, why were y'all lying to me? Because, huh? Like, I'm like, now I wanna go to Japan. Like Japan's the number one place I wanna go to. I'm like, why did y'all make it seem like if I was born in Japan, I would have no opportunity. Like literally, didn't even think that like people just wouldn't want to come to America. Like I just thought everyone wanted to come to America, America to become successful. And it's like, you know, you can be successful. Like you could be a doctor in Japan. You could actually be a billionaire and be from Japan and like run a company. Like, I don't know why that didn't click for me that like the only like there's rich and poor people in Japan. There's rich and poor people in America. There's rich and poor people everywhere. So it's like, why as Americans are we teaching kids that like, oh, if you're not in America, you're poor, you're poor. And I don't know if this is just a Pennsylvania thing. I, I really don't know. I, I feel like it, it must be, but none of my extended family has left the country. So that, that tells you something, that tells you something. But I'm like really just thinking about it. I, I, I'm just like flabbergasted at the propaganda, like, bruh. They really do instill it into you though. Like, genuinely, especially in like history books, it's just like, how are Americans always on the right side of history? Oh, my stomach be grumbling. Like, we're not, something's not a, something's not right to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I don't know about that one. But yeah, I don't know. I just was thinking about it today. I'm like, literally, why would I get so upset thinking about people born in other countries. Like I genuinely would be like, imagine being born in another country. You must have it so hard. Like, calm down, calm down, okay? I just think it is so funny that like I genuinely would get upset thinking about stuff like this. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. Um. So what is the, what is the point of this video? I don't know. The point is, think about how you have been propagandized as a child. Just think about it. Just, just take a, just take a thought. Just have a thought for once.